Childhood leukemia is a cancer of the bone marrow. Uh, the bone marrow is actually the factory of all the blood cells in the body. And it turns out that childhood leukemia is actually the most common of childhood cancer that we take care of at our clinic. Typical symptoms of a child with leukemia could include pain, fever. Uh, more specifically, a parent might notice that their child has become pale. Uh, they might notice that the child has become more bruised, perhaps has an infection that may be more serious than would be typical in a child. Uh, often a lymph node might crop up, but generally speaking, uh, we hear over and over again that uh, the par parents indeed saw nothing coming and their child was simply healthy one day and had a diagnosis of leukemia the next. The diagnostic procedure for leukemia involves a bone marrow aspiration and biopsy, which is simply the insertion of a needle into the bone marrow space, which is the hollow space in the bone, and the withdrawal of bone marrow contents in order to analyze under the microscope and other specialized equipment in the laboratory. By doing so, we can actually tailor our therapy on the basis of how, what the biology of each leukemia looks like. Some leukemias thus can be treated with less uh, intensive therapy, while others uh, clearly need more intensive therapy going up all the way to receiving a bone marrow transplant. Chemotherapy is actually delivered to our patients over the course of two and a half to three and a half years, uh, more intensively at first and then into a maintenance phase of therapy thereafter. The risks of leukemia therapy are really the risks of all cancer therapy. These really include the main risks of infection, it involves becoming anemic, whereby the bone marrow has trouble keeping up with uh, the required number of red cells, and the production of platelets, which leads to an increased risk of bleeding. In addition, every chemotherapy drug that we give has a whole range of unique and different side effects that we have to account for. However, there are also really novel and exciting new agents in immuno uh, therapy, bringing the power of the immune system in order to attack leukemia. The treatment of childhood leukemia at Yale Medicine is actually truly a special thing. We realize that it's not just about the chemotherapy, it's the entire child that we worry about. We realize that the mental health, psychosocial health is important too. So we have a team approach uh, in treating patients with leukemia. This would involve social workers, psychologists, psychiatrists, and child life specialists, all along with our nurses, nurse practitioners, and physicians who provide the hands-on care to our patients as well as all of our families. I'm Dr. Gary Kupfer. I'm Chief of Pediatric Hematology Oncology at Yale Medicine.